Hello, we're back at Roma Cooking School at um, my mum's house. We are ready to do the calzone tonight. And the calzone, for people that don't know, uh, is the folded over pizza. It's called calzone because it resembles a sock. Nothing falls out once you put it in there. Um, now, last week we did the uh, first video uh, the first, in the first cooking uh, school, we did the um, how to make the dough from scratch. And so if you've got that, obviously, you know, you should be ready. You should have started about six hours ago and allowed it to prove. Uh, and if you've got the pizza pack, we're going to start from the pizza pack mode now. Um, I was asked a good question not long ago by Caroline. Thanks, uh, Caroline. Uh, I can see you're watching. Um... When you got the pizza pack, when do you take it out of the fridge? And I forgot to mention that, but it's a good question. So it's about two hours before you start to take it out and let it thaw out and so it'd be nice and soft and easy to handle, especially for the kids. Uh, also, if you've got any questions as we go, put them through the, uh, the feed here, as I can see a lot of people watching. Uh, and if I, hopefully I'll see them and I'll answer. But now I'm just going to change the angle, and we've got the crew here. So we've got Nonna, Sofia, and Eduardo. Good job. He did his hairstyle today, so he's ready for a big day. Okay, so we can get straight into it, really. But we've got the dough there. Yeah, you can, Eduardo. Uh, we've got the ingredients again. So we've got the sauce. A little bit of flour, some cheese. Oh, and the group, the, um, the boot camp guys, uh, I know you struggled last time with the uh, rolling pin. I forgot that, you know, it's not an item that some people don't have, but hopefully you'll have it by now. And it gets used regularly. And don't give it back to the neighbours if you still got it. Keep it. Okay, so we're going to do something a little bit different afterwards. A bit of anchovies and olives. But again, you can add anything that you like. Um, you know, ham or cabernossi. Uh, we've got a little bit of prosciutto there. Uh, and we also got something special as a dessert later. But uh, now I'm gonna come back this way and we're gonna start rolling out the dough. So we start off as if you're rolling it uh, with a pizza, just like a pizza, I should say. Who's first, Eduardo? Okay, he's on. So I sprinkle a little bit of flour on the bottom so it doesn't stick. Chris Lagana is watching. Hey, Chris, how are you doing? Don't be late for work, Chris. Okay, so again, you want to flatten it just like a, a normal pizza, as if you're doing a, a normal pizza base. And preferably a little bit thinner is better. Sophia's getting it ready for the rollout, and she doesn't smile very much. Now, Eduardo is doing... Um, a small base. So Nana quickly just uh, helped him out there with a proper shape. Now he's giving it a good roll. Okay, now put a little bit of olive oil. Always use the extra virgin olive oil. You can't beat it. And then Sophia is next. So again, a little bit thinner than normal is better. Megan Dallas, I need a non in my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she has saved us many, many times and continue to do so. So we're very lucky 
Not just the kids, my uh, my ad. Hello, Anna. How are you? Now, Eduardo is going to be. Um, he's always independent, so he wants to not to make a um, a calzone. He just wants a normal base margarita, yeah, okay. and you know that's perfectly fine too. But Sophia is getting a little bit adventurous. Here. She's going to make a um, a larger calzone. And she's going to put it in that tray there. Nana's going to put a little bit of olive oil on the tray just to get it ready. Yeah, yeah, it's coming, coming, Eduardo. Okay, hopefully at home, all the young chefs are sort of up to this stage by now. If I'm going too fast, let me know. Or if I'm going too slow, let me know. Hey, Adrian, thank you for the kind words. Yes, the F family is everything, mate, 100%. You can tell it's very peaceful here without Nick again. We managed to keep Nick out of the equation. Yeah, the one that likes that, he was giggling. Okay, so now we, we pretty much try to cover most of the tray. Uh, one thing that I want to show you is if, if we lift this up, you can see the oil is only put on half. And there's a reason for that. So you only put the oil, the olive oil, on half. Okay, Lisa, Pap is still rolling it out. All right, we might be going a little bit too quick then. Oh, Barbara, rolling it with a wine bottle. Very creative. Hopefully you can use the wine afterwards as well. Okay, the one that's put in the sauce, he doesn't want to muck around. These guys want to get into it and eat it at the same time. Yes, exactly right, Sophia. So she's making the cozzoni now. I still have to work out a, uh, a pay for this. But as you can see, we only put half on half of the pizza. So everything is half, half the oil on, on one half of the tray. Oh, no. 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 Nonna is trying to get creative and as usual, if you don't hold her down, like she gets so creative, she gets out of uh, whack. Yeah. Now she's gone a bit uh, red. No, she hasn't. She's still smiling. She doesn't like that. Anyway, back to the calzone. So as you can see, we've got half of the pizza. Now we can start putting some cheese. Oh, we'll put in the holes first, exactly. And again, depend. look, less cheese is always best. That way it doesn't ooze out when you do the calzone. I was going to have another go. He wants to keep going. As you can see, it becomes fun. Another two years, I'll be at Roma working. Oh, Sophia didn't like that. Oil. And how are the kids going? They're all right. We're up to this stage now. Okay, now what we do, so Sophia's just making a margarita, just the sauce, just put the holes in it, then put the cheese, and now we fold it half. And now we join all the edges. We cover all the sauce. And we'll make sure that everything is all covered up. Okay, and now we put some holes on the top. Okay, Nona's just flattening it out a little bit. 
and we do some eyes, they call them. Just you rip a little bit of a hole, a book, and they look know. like um, the two <laughs> eyes, the nose, and the mouth. No, I'm not. I've got to put the holes in. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the writer's just saying he missed making the holes, but you now quickly fix. Again, there's no right or wrong when you make a pizza or calzone. Any shape is fun because they all taste the same. Now, Sophia is ready. Now, and that's all it is to make a calzone. I also like to say thank you to the people that posted those beautiful pictures last week uh, and the three winners. I still have the, um, the vouchers. Uh, so I, when, I, when this video gets posted, I, um, you know, if you could actually just put all the pictures following this video, that would be great. And then we'll pick a, a winner. Now, Sophia picked those winners. She couldn't make up her mind. Uh, so hopefully it will be a little bit uh, cheaper for us to pick one winner. Hello, Ailish. We've got a, a, a great friend helping us out with the Billion Bee Foundation. Good to see you here. Okay, so now this guy's only is ready. None is rushing to make another one. And the rides are still going. How are the kids going? Hopefully they're all right now. They're up to this stage. Now, next week, we're going to do another one. It will be a five o'clock. Uh, so we'll be back at five. And look, if you guys want something different to cook, um, throw it in the suggestion box or in the comments under this video once it's posted. And we'll have a look at it. And let's see what we can do. Otherwise, we can make something uh, completely different again. Okay, so we're ready now. Yeah, and the weather's just still assessing. I know what he's looking at, but I'll tell you soon. That's better. That's better, Mr. Con. So what we do is we've got the calzone, twelve minutes at two hundred and fifty degrees, <laughs> and we put it in. Now that's cooking, and now. That would look like, we just pulled this one out literally five seconds ago. <laughs> and you can see everyone's getting closer now. This is the, this is the main thing now. So that's a nice calzone margarita. Now we'll get a board. Now, if you made them small, you don't need to cut it. They can actually eat it just like pretty, like a, similar like a pie. G'day, Cassie. Get um, Craig to, uh, to eat some. Grant, sorry. Get Grant to eat some. Because tomorrow at the boot camp, we've got uh, the last, the finale of the weigh-in. So he needs to have this good stuff in him. Now, when you have make a big one like this, we can cut it. Okay. Now, this one here, we'll probably need another minute. It depends on the thickness and what you put in there. But it's not far off, probably another minute. Thanks, Susie. Now you let it cool down for, you know, one minute and the kids can uh, get right into it. Now, someone is smiling, they don't want to get into it right now. 
So this is going to be the hard part, how we're going to hold these guys back. Okay, now what Nonu is doing, put them in a plate ready to be served. And now we're going to make room for something else. We're going to make a um, dessert, which we call it tronchetto, which means little trunk. Now, with a little trunk, it's very easy. It, it's actually similar to, if the shape was like a snail, it's, it's like that snail croissant. I'll just move here now while Nani's getting ready their little station. Uh, yeah, so it's very easy. It's, no, you can put whatever ingredients you like to add, but again, everything that we do is based on um, uh, cucina povera, which means it's like peasant food. The most simplest is always the best, and always use the best ingredients you can possibly get. No, no, after. Okay, so now we're gonna now we're gonna show how we make. Oh, this is a little snack actually. What Nana did here is see the. Um, this is just a, like a bit of piece of dough that she made into a long little strip. Okay, here we go. Now Nana's gonna make it. You just roll it out. These are really not good for the kids and for the adults. Hey Lisa, I don't think Sophia shares much. She doesn't share anything. <laughs> there we go. So we'll make a, you know, as many strips as you like and you just put them in the tray. Cook them for 12 minutes? Yeah, no, uh, or minutes. Oh, eight or nine minutes. It depends uh, how thick they are again, but after eight, nine minutes, start checking it. But before you put it in the oven, you just got to paint a little bit of olive oil on it. No, oh, okay. uh, milk, milk, egg. Oh, milk and egg. I've got a little command to go with it. This is the mixture here. Like, Nana was trying to be a bit secretive, but uh, we've got it here. So a little bit of milk and egg. That's the wavo rosso. Just the red. Uh, and we just brush on top of it, put it in the oven, and it'll come out like that. Now, once it comes out like that, then you can start getting a little bit, you know, fancy. You can decorate it with, um, you can decorate it with prosciutto. As Don is doing that now, and that's a good starter. So that's one little thing for the adults as well as with the kids. Yeah. Okay, more fakiru kosa, fakiru dorch, fakiru dorch. Now we're going and do the tronchetto. So that's just a quick little. Side thing that you can do if your guests are coming or family members and they're really starving. What do you principio, ma? For those that don't understand Italian, I didn't say much. I just said we have to start from scratch. Nonna went and got the uh, the actual sample, so she doesn't like that when she gets caught out. There you go. Now she's going 100 miles an hour to make up for the lost time. <coughs> We'll have to make it as thin as possible. So the tronchetto, which means a, a small or very tiny little trunk. Now, Nonna hates making things slow. She likes fast speed things. Look. Oh, Lisa is requesting for, the son is requesting a Nutella pizza. We did that yesterday. Oh, sorry, last week. They'll probably like this one just as much. This is one of my favourites too, actually. These guys are still doing the sampling. Now, normally the water, oh, good catch. Normally they, um, they disappear in the backyard, but now they're hanging around. That's how you get kids to hang around next year when you've got food like this. 
Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. So we'll try to make it nice in a uh, rectangular shape. Now we get some jam. Now this jam was made by Nonna. Get jam, Esther. Lemon. That's a lemon jam. So if your neighbours uh, have some healthy big lemons, uh, just wait after five o'clock and just, you know, grab a couple. And the way Nonna makes the lemon jam is, um, she doesn't add too much sugar, but it still comes out nice and sweet and look, it's very dangerous. You can get carried away. Well, alternatively, if you need lemon, I can ask my sister from uh, Baradu. She's got a, quite a few lemons at her house, and she can um, she can share some zaviki. She gets a bit tight sometimes with her food, but for a good cause, she will share it. Hey, Kim, how are you? It's good that you're watching. Can you use know, Stuart? I just have to ride. Yeah, no one is going to get. Okay, fine, Mom. Um, now she's cutting some uh, easy bake paper that she's going to put it on the actual uh, pan. So you cover the tray with the easy bake paper and then you try to. You roll it. Everyone is very concentrating here. Except for Eduardo, he's still concentrating on his pizza. Now, I'm saying you can put it full or you can cut it now in pieces. And that just becomes a little bit easier to uh, manage once it comes out of the oven, otherwise, it's um, really hot and the marmalade will come out a little bit, but this way is a little bit cleaner. Yeah, it's nice, not saying it's nice because it's not too sweet for the kids. So this one here goes for 16 minutes. At 190 degrees. So once, after 16 minutes, you pull it out. That's about mine. Okay, so now we're ready to take the pizzas out. Two margaritas. The almond. Yes. And then we put the tronchetto in. So 16 minutes, 190 degrees. And that's how it will come out as a full piece. And so it's, then you cut it in slices as you wish. And then it gets served like this. None has done a few extras. Now you can either cut them in slices or you can do another thing. You can actually bake them, say you, you pinch the corners, so you can actually bake them independently like this instead of cutting them. So just make smaller little miniature uh, tronchetti. And uh, that's about it. So look, I mean, thank you everyone for joining us. Thanks to the chefs. Thank you. Um, so any, if you guys uh, want something special to be shown for next week, now put it in the comments once we post this. And please share this, and I'd love to see your photos uh, of 
the next results. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye.